ओके हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द अनदर एक्साइटिंग सेशन ऑन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फील्ड्स दिस सब्जेक्ट इज टारगेटेड फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द एसएससी जेई एग्जाम फाइन नाउ एज यू ऑल नो दिस इज वन अदर कांसेप्ट सीरीज दिस इज द थर्ड वन दिस इज द सिलेबस इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स मैग्नेटोस्टैटिक्स एंड टाइम वेरिंग फील्ड्स इन द लास्ट टू सेशंस वी हैड अ डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग द टॉपिक्स इन द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स वी वर कंसंट्रेटेड ऑन uh gosla and then uh the coulomb's law and then electric field expression now today we'll going to focus on the uh, different uh, magnetostatics that to especially uh, we'll going to focus on the different types of current distributions and their corresponding important formulas followed by the numericals fine let me turn the page here let us focus on a uh, different types of current distributions types of current distributions the first one is a line current in the case of electrostatics we have similar kind of things we have types of charge distributions point charge line charge sheet charge and volume charge charge distribution may happen over the line may happen over the sheet may happen inside the volume okay now here is a, a line there is nothing like a point current why because point current means what if the charges are standing there itself it has got no meaning so what is the fundamental current is the charges should flow the charge flow may happen over the line may happen over the sheet may happen inside the volume fine so here is a line current generally what is the current flowing through this one is i and the length of this one is dl generally it is represented as a vector i am not showing i am not using the vector notation okay this is called a current element it is a line current what is the current element current element is i into dl what is this i i is amperes dl is meters it is ampere meter clear fine now let us have other type of current which is called a surface current current is distributed in the surface current is distributed over the surface current is flowing in the surface something like you can treat this as a bunch of current carrying conductors which are arranged like this these are current carrying conductors current is flowing in a current is flowing in a sheet that is the reason why it is called sheet current or surface current but how it is defined suppose if you consider the small piece of a length here now let us consider the length here how much is the length is it is dl so let us say i is the total current here here the total current flow is i total current flowing in the sheet is the i amperes now let me so how you define this sheet current it is defined as k is equal to i am using only the scalar notation it is di by dl units are ampere per meter current flowing through a small piece of a length is called sheet current ampere per meter it is called sheet current but its units are ampere per meter okay fine you must take care about this one and we'll going to define what is called a current element here what happens to the current element the current element here will be k into da what is this k the k is 
ampere per meter multiplied with the meter square its units are ampere meter here also the current element units are ampere meter here also ampere meter fine now let us have the volume current current distribution ho happen inside the volume number 3 volume current it is represented with the j units are ampere per meter square so the current is flowing in a volume that is the reason why it is called volume current now let us consider and one more thing here what is the area let me show you the area also here the area is da that is how the current element is defined ah uh, what is this one here it is having the area da and this is having a volume dv now i'll introduce some new current what is called a volume current which is j is equal to di by da units are ampere per meter square okay then you'll going to define what we'll going to define what is called a current element current element this current element is defined in the later discussions of the magnetostatics here what happens to the current element it is j into dv you can check out here it is ampere per meter square multiplied with the meter cube here it is ampere meter okay so the, if the line is, if the current is flowing in a line it is called line current its units are ampere if the current is flowing in a sheet then it is called sheet current its units are ampere per meter if the current is flowing in a volume then it is called volume current all volume current density sheet current density okay its units are ampere per meter square and there is a current element here what is the current element in all these things the current element units are sometimes it may be directly asked so the current element units are ampere meter it is ampere this is meter this is ampere per meter and this one is meter square this one is ampere per meter square this one is meter cube what is this one is ampere meter okay so generally this ampere this uh, current element will also useful in lorentz force relation fine so the, it also can be equated to q into v we will not go into that discussion so for that point of view this current element is important fine so our here in here our interest is only in dealing with the different types of currents line current which you are very much familiar with this one in your even in a circuit theory also you circuit theory in your circuit theory you talk about the line current fine but here there are different types of currents are possible fine now what i'll do here we'll going to take some different shapes here finite length current carrying conductor infinite length current carrying conductor circular loop okay and we'll try to find out their corresponding magnetic fields yes so those are the different types of currents now observe here we'll see the formulas which are extremely important for our exam current element here is a current element carrying the current of i amperes okay so here it is a finite length current carrying conductor which is carrying the current of i amperes fine if i put my thumb like this my fingers will going to show the direction of magnetic field here is a direction of magnetic field isn't it 
if the current is flowing up the my fingers will going to show the direction of magnetic field and if the current is going down then magnetic field will be like this isn't it magnetic field will circle around the current carrying conductor suppose if you consider in this plane the magnetic field lines are inside i can show like this magnetic field i am not using any vector here just i'll call it as a b magnetic field it is weber per meter square and what is the distance from here to here is a rho it is a radius rho perpendicular distance so what is the magnetic field here due to this finite length current carrying conductor is a given by there is a formula you must remember we will not go into the derivational part the formula is given by magnetic field or magnetic flux density you can call this one so the b is equal to mu i by 4 pi rho into sin alpha 1 plus sin alpha 2 yes so what is this alpha 1 and alpha 2 what is this rho rho is a perpendicular distance what is this sin alpha 1 angle made with respect to the corners okay now here is a angle made with respect to the corners here so what is this angle this angle is alpha 1 this angle is alpha 2 this is a current carrying conductor at this distance at this at a distance of rho i want to find out the magnetic field so that is dependent on this angle what is this angle alpha 1 this angle is alpha 2 and the distance from here to here is a rho okay so this is a current carrying conductor you need to see its corners you need to see i want to find out the magnetic field here it is a finite length current carrying conductor i want to see its corners I'll, this is alpha 1 and this one is alpha 2 and the distance from here to here is rho fine so how much is the current flowing here here the current flow is i amperes clear so it is a perpendicular distance that is what i want to show here that is what i have shown here clear fine so what is this row here this is a perpendicular distance what is this row is it is a perpendicular distance and what is this alpha 1 and alpha 2 these are the angle made with respect to the corners fine so you have to remember this formula and what are the units for this magnetic flux density units are weber per meter square so this is a formula you must remember number of times questions were noticed on this concept okay friends fine here it is a magnetic flux density the questions was on the magnetic field intensity or magnetizing force you can also say we have b is equal to mu into h so what is the h vector then h magnitude is it is i by 4 pi rho into sin alpha 1 plus sin alpha 2 units are ampere per meter here also it is a perpendicular distance rho okay fine now i want to modify this formula to the infinite line how can i do this is for the finite length finite length current carrying conductor i have shown the boundaries here so i want to find out the magnetic field here from here i need to see the corners this is alpha 1 and this one is alpha 2 now i want to modify this formula for the infinite line so for the infinite what happens from here i want to see the corners can i see the corner no the angle will become 90 degrees this angle also will become 90 degrees let me turn the page here so for infinite length conductor
दिस आर इन्फाइनेट लाइन this is how the current is flowing so and this is a perpendicular distance from here to here now can you see the and if the current is flowing up what is the direction of magnetic field uh, this is the direction of magnetic field on this plane the magnetic field is going inside i want to find out the magnetic field due to this current carrying conductor so from here i need to see the corners If I see the corner here, what happens? How much is the angle? The angle here will be ninety degrees. I want to see the corners. Can I see the corners like this, like this, like this? No. So the angle will be ninety degrees. I want to see the angle like this, like this, like this, and like this. So how much is the angle here? 90 degrees this is also 90 degrees so what are the modifications one should do alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 is equal to 90 degrees clear so what happens to the magnetic field b is equal to mu i divided by 4 pi rho into Sine of ninety degrees plus sine of ninety degrees. So ninety degrees is one. One plus one it is two. Here in the denominator you are having four. So here b is equal to u i divided by two pi rho. Units are Weber per meter square. And then you can also get the h vector h here. B is equal to mu into h. So what is the h here? H is equal to i by two pi rho. Its units are ampere per meter. Extremely important formula. So okay. So what are the formulas we have seen? it is a magnetic field due to finite length current carrying conductor this is a infinite length current carrying conductor okay this is called magnetic field intensity or magnetizing force it is the magnetic flux density fine now let us have the questions here some varieties of questions which are collected from the all the previous papers fine now observe this question looks little bit lengthy but later i'll going to give the shortcut for this A square loop of side D carries a current I amperes. The magnitude of the magnetic field intensity at its geometric center is. There is a square loop here. Here is a solution. there is a square loop here okay fine and here is a current is flowing in the square loop how much current i amperes whether it could be a clockwise or anti clockwise you can take whatever the way you like here is a current is flowing like this and how much is the current here i amperes i amperes i amperes and i amperes and how much is the side here Side it is d meters. Here also side is the d meters. Okay, so what is asking is asking us to find out what is the magnetic field at the geometric center here somewhere here. 
What is the magnetic field here is due to this section, this section, this section and this section. And what is happening here is you can put your thumb like this, your fingers will go into show the direction of magnetic field. Here is the direction of magnetic field is like this. Here the magnetic field is like this. Here the magnetic field is like this. Here the magnetic field is like this. So, magnetic field is getting added up at the center. So, what I will do, I will find out the magnetic field is due to only once each section and I will multiply with the number 4. Okay. So, I will redraw this diagram one more time for my convenience. Okay. Fine. Now, Here it is D, here it is D and there is a current flow here like this. How much is the current? High amperes is flowing. So what I will do, I will find out the magnetic field here due to this section, only single section and I will multiply with the number 4. So how you have to do? You need to see the corners from here. What is the corner here? What is the corner here? What is the distance from here to here? It is a perpendicular distance. How much is the distance? So, how much is this angle from the properties? We know that this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is also 45 degrees. And what is the distance from here to here? Distance from here to here it is d by 2. Okay, let me turn the page here. I will going to use the formula what I have given. Hs, that means magnetic field due to each side is equal to i by 4 pi rho into sin alpha 1 plus sin alpha 2. This is a formula. Magnetic field due to each side. So, Hs is equal to I by 4 pi into side. How much is the side? I mean, uh, distance here, perpendicular distance is d by 2. Sin alpha 1 is sin 45. It is 1 by root 2. I am directly writing plus 1 by root 2. So, how much is this? Hs is equal to i by 2 pi d which is 2 by root 2 or Hx is equal to i by pi d root 2. Then this is the magnetic field due to each side. If you want to get the overall magnetic field, what you have to do? You have to multiply with the number 4. So, H total is equal to 4 into Hs. So, which is 4 into I by pi into d into root 2. So, H total is equal to 2 root 2 i by pi d. So, this is a magnetic field. Units are obviously ampere per meter. This is a magnetic field at the center of the square loop. 2 root 2 i by pi d. Option A is the answer. But if you go in by in this method, it is a time taking. Let me give some shortcut here. Here is a shortcut. What is the shortcut? For n equal sided polygon with side D, for n equal sided polygon with side D and carrying the current I, the magnitude of the magnetic field intensity at its geometric center is given by this one. H is equal to Ni by pi D sin 180 by N tan 180 by N. So, this is the formula need to be remembered. This will be going to make, this will going to save our time. It is a polygon, n equal sided. Okay. Suppose if I consider n value is 3, then it is the equilateral triangle. Let us take some examples on this. Suppose if I take n is equal to 3, example number 1, 
that means it is an equilateral triangle. So the current carrying conductor is twisted like an equilateral triangle, which is having a side D and carrying the current I amperes, let us say. Then what happens to the magnetic field at the geometric center? H is equal to Ni by pi D, 3i by pi into D into sin 180 by 3 tan One eighty by three. That's it. Otherwise, what you need to do, if you want, if you go by the regular method, if you want to find out the magnetic field at the geometric center, you need to find out the magnetic field due to this, and you need to multiply with the number three. It is a waste of time. Okay. Directly, you can just use this shortcut. So, what happens to the H? H is equal to 3i by pi d sin 30 it is root 3 by 2 this one is tan 30 is root 3 so here it is i h is equal to 9i by 2 pi d units are ampere per meter so that is the magnetic field at the center of the equilateral triangle which is carrying the current i and having a side d now let us take one more example example number 2 the same question we have done. If n is equal to 4, then it is a, then it is a square. Okay, fine. It is carrying the current of I amperes with a side D. Then how much is the magnetic field? I will directly, what is the magnetic field at the geometric center? It is directly I will use the formula 4i by pi D into sin or tan sin 180 by n, tan 180 by n, sin 180 by 4, tan 180 by 4, so h is equal to 4i by pi d, sin 45, it is 1 by root 2, tan 45 is 1, so here it is h is equal to 2 root 2 i by pi d. See, in how many steps you have got answer? Just in the th 3 steps. 2 root 2 i by pi d. Is that correct? Ah, yes. It is 2 root 2 i by pi d. Correct. Fine. Next, we will take one more case. It is the hexagonal I have taken. n is equal to 6. It is equal sided, six sides are there, it is a hexagonal, which is carrying the current of I amperes and having a side D and I want to find out what is the magnetic field at the center. So the H is equal to Ni 6I by pi D into sin 180 by sin 180 by 6, it is sin 30 degrees into tan 30 degrees. So, here it is 6i by pi d. It is 1 by 2. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So, here it is 3. So, it is root 3i by pi d. Units are ampere per meter. So, that is how just by remembering this formula, you can just save the time. Important. If you want to find out the magnetic field at n equal sided polygon with the side n and carrying the current i. If you want to find out the magnetic field at the geometric center, uh, this is a formula. Fine. Okay. There is a one more, one question was there in the previous paper. Same question. Huh? Magnetizing force, magnetic field intensity is also called magnetizing force. If you have any doubts, you can check out this, uh, this uh, units. Force at the center of the square, uh, each arm of 2A meters length shown below is. 
So the arm is 2A. So what is the magnetic field at the center? Directly use the shortcut. What is the shortcut? H is equal to Ni. What is the N here? It is a 4i divided by Ni by pi d. Pi into d. What is the d? It is a side. It is a 2a into tan or sin 180 by n. Sin 45 degrees into tan 45 degrees. So here it is h is equal to 2i by 2 uh, a pi. Sin 45 is 1 by root 2. Tan 45 is 1. So h is equal to root 2 i by root 2 i by pi, d, pi a. Root 2 i by pi a. What is the answer? Option A is the answer. Clear? Fine. Let us have one more question. Yes. Here is a question. This question is something uh, based on identification of formula. H is equal to dash is the expression for magnetic field due to infinite linear current carrying conductor. I by 2R. I by 2 pi R, where R is a distance. So what is this one? Here it is. I by 2 pi R is the answer. Direct formula based question. Yes. Uh, there is a one more question here. A long straight wire carries a current of long straight wire. That means infinite length you have to consider. Carries a current of I is equal to 10 amperes. At what distance is the magnetic field H is equal to 1 ampere? Okay, fine. So what is the magnetic field due to infinite line current? It is H is equal to I by 2 pi r. So how much is the magnetic field is 1? 1 is equal to 10 divided by 2 pi into r. What is the r? Is a distance he is asking. What is the r is asking? So what is the r? r is equal to 5 by pi. Units are meters. 5 by pi or 10 by According to the options, you can keep this one as it is. It is 10 by 2 pi. Units are meters. Option B is the answer. Okay, friends. Let us have one more shape, one more formula. So far, we have seen three formulas. One is magnetic field due to finite length conductor, infinite length conductor and magnetic field at the center of the uh, n equal sided polygon which is carrying the current i amperes with the side d meters. Okay? Now let us take one more formula, one more current shape which is very important. Number of times it was noticed in your previous papers. Okay. Magnetic field due to circular loop. Fine. This formula is also important. So this is a current carrying conductor, it is in the circular shape. Carrying the current of I amperes and having a radius A. And the distance from here to here is B. So I am going away from the center of the circular loop. I want to find out what is the magnetic field expression here. So you need to put your thumb in the direction of current flow. Your fingers will go to show the direction of magnetic field. So the magnetic field is like this. I am considering this as a z-axis. There is no need for that. So the magnetic field away from this one will be pointing like this.
here it is a magnetic field units are weber per meter square i want to find out where i want to find out the magnetic field away from the center of the circular loop which is carrying the current i amperes okay fine now what is the magnetic field here is given by like this this is a formula so the magnetic field here is equal to mu into i into a square divided by 2 into a square plus b square to the power of 3 by 2 units are ampere per sorry units are weber per meter square and there is a you can also get the b expression a mu expression v we have b is equal to mu into h this is a magnetic flux density this is a h is a magnetic field intensity or it is also called magnetizing force so h vector is equal to there won't be any mu so h is equal to i into a square divided by 2 into a square plus b square to the power of 3 by 2 units are ampere per meter okay fine now here what is this one here it is a b and h b is a weber per meter square h is a ampere per meter more than this formula what is more important what we have seen in the previous papers is magnetic field at the center of the circular loop that formula is much more popular than this one where this one it is a circular loop carrying the current in the circular loop having a radius a and you are going away from the center at a distance b you are finding the magnetic field okay so these are the magnetic field and magnetic field intensity expressions what is more important for exam is what is the magnetic field at the center of the circular loop for that what you need to do you need to make this b is equal to 0 you have to make this b is equal to 0 so that you will get the magnetic field at the center of the circular loop let me turn the page here so this formula is more important than the earlier one fine so magnetic field at the center of the circular loop which is carrying the current of i fine so here is a case this is having a radius a and carrying the current i amperes i want to find out what is the magnetic field at the center so what is the magnetic field at the center let me turn shift this one here for that you need to make you need to make b is equal to 0 yes so what is the b b is equal to mu into i into a square divided by 2 into a square plus b square to the power of 3 by 2 which is equal to i need to make this b is equal to 0 so here mu into i into a square divided by 2 into a square to the power of 3 by 2 so b is equal to mu into i into a square divided by 2 into a cube so this one is mu into i divided by 2 into a so that is a b expression that is a, a b expression magnetic field intensity let me shift this one here so that is the magnetic field intensity sorry magnetic flux density b is equal to mu into i by 2a units are weber per meter square suppose if you want to get the h expression b is equal to mu into h so the h is equal to i by 2a units are ampere per meter okay so this is much more important 
This is a very, very important formula. Number of times questions were noticed on this one, especially on this one. Okay, let us take questions here. Here is a question. If a circular conductor carries a current of I amperes having a radius of R meter, then the magnetizing force at the center of the coil is. So, what is the magnetizing force at the center of the coil? H is equal to, just now given the formula, H is equal to I by 2 into A. Here it is R. I by 2A. So, option B is the answer. Okay, fine. Let us take one more question. Yes. This was seen in your previous paper. Find H is equal to ampere per meter at the center of the circular coil of diameter 1 meter and carrying the current of 2 amperes. So, what is the magnetic field expression? H is equal to H is equal to it is I by 2 into A. 2 into A is nothing but a diameter. So, how much is the current flowing? It is 2 divided by diameter is 1, amp, 1 meter. So, how much is this? Here it is 2 units are ampere per meter. So, option D is the answer. Okay, fine. So, that is all about the circular loop. Let us have a last one. Magnetic field due to infinite uniform sheet current. Here, this is also, this is not that much important. Let me be frank with you. Not seen that much questions related to this one. I, I would say not even a single question was noticed on based on this one. But just for the completeness, we have seen the magnetic field due to finite length conductor, infinite length conductor, magnetic field at the center of the n equal sided polygon and magnetic field due to circular loop away from the center as well as at the center. Now, here is the last one, last step. Just for the completeness, we will take this one. Fine. So, now here, magnetic field due to infinite uniform sheet current. Here it is a sheet current. It is carrying the current like this. It is a sheet current. Current is flowing like this. If the current is flowing like this, what is the direction of magnetic field? The direction of magnetic field is like this, circling around this. Okay, this is the direction of magnetic field. But this I have drawn it for the finite length conductor. I will draw this view. I will going to draw this view. I will going to see it from front side. So, if I draw a front view, how does it will going to look? It will going to look like this. The current is coming outside. And magnetic field will be circling around this. Magnetic field will be circling around this. Clear? So, here the magnetic field is it will never going to find the corners. At the corners it will going to bend, but it will never going to find the corners. Okay, fine. So, the magnetic field is like this, tangential on both sides. It is H, units are ampere per meter, HRB, whatever it may be. Here it is H, units are ampere per meter. 
current is coming outside isn't it from if you see it from here the current is coming outside that is what i have drawn here so it is outside outside so here it is k units are ampere per meter let me turn the page here so magnetic field due to infinite uniform sheet current is independent of distance and it is tangential on both sides of the sheet and what is the expression for the magnetic field is given so b is equal to mu into k by 2 and h is equal to k by 2 its units are weber per meter square here it is ampere per meter okay so these are the formulas one should remember let us take question here yes the magnetic field due to sheet current of 2 amperes is so what is the magnetic field he is asking the h vector solution here is a solution h is equal to k by 2 which is 4 by 2 which is 2 ampere per meter and it is tangential so where you are having a 2 here you are having a 2 2 and it is tangential to the sheet so option b is the answer simple it is k by 2 fine so now let me reiterate what we have done in this session so we have focused on the important formulas which are targeted for our ssc je exam if you check out the previous papers in every paper you will find one question one or two questions related to these concepts what we have discussed in this session one is first we have started with the different types of currents the current distribution may happen current flow may happen over the line then it is called a line current it is called a line current but its units are ampere current flow may happen over the sheet then it is called a sheet current it is represented with the k units are ampere per meter if the current flow is happening in the volume then it is called a volume current its units are ampere per meter square then finally we have got what is called a current element i into dl is equal to k into da is equal to j into dv this current element we will going to help you in the later discussions of magnetostatics especially in the lorentz force relation we will not go into that discussion that is not our interest here now here we have seen magnetic field due to finite length current carrying conductor which is b is equal to mu i by 4 pi rho sin alpha 1 plus sin alpha 2 and h is equal to i by 4 pi rho sin alpha 1 plus sin alpha 2 what is this rho it is a perpendicular distance alpha 1 and alpha 2 are angle made with respect to the corners remember this is a finite length current carrying conductor i want to find out the magnetic field here so you need to look this one like this this is alpha 1 and this one is alpha 2 so if you modify this formula you will get the magnetic field for infinite line so for the infinite line if you look the if you want to see the corners this angle will be 95 90 degrees this angle also will be 90 degrees so if you make alpha 1 and alpha 2 is equal to 90 then that formula will turn out to be i by 2 pi rho and these are the varieties of questions and there is a one shortcut i have provided here what is the shortcut here if you want to find out the magnetic field at the center of the n equal sided polygon which is carrying the current i amperes then this is a formula need to be used which will going to greatly it will going to save our time in the exam okay n i by pi d sin 180 by n tan 180 by n we have taken some examples for equilateral triangle here square here hexagonal fine okay next here is a this was a one of your previous question here the questions are we have discussed and here is a mag, there is a one more important formula magnetic field due to circular loop circular loop carrying the current i amperes first i have given the formula away from the center at a distance of b and the circular loop is having a radius of a okay this is a formula suppose if you want to find out the magnetic field at the center what you have to do you have to make this b is equal to 0 
this formula is much more important. Number of times questions were noticed, especially on this one. What is the magnetic field at the center of the circular loop? It is a very famous question in the state service exams as well. Fine. So, this is a formula and we have taken one numerical. The other one is one more thing. This is not that much important. Let me be clear. Let me be frank with you. It is a magnetic field due to infinite sheet. Fine. So, if I put my thumb like this, if I put my thumb like this, the current is coming outside is a sheet and my magnetic field is like this, tangent like this, tangent like this. Tangential on both sides. Okay. And it is independent of distance. It is given like this. Magnetic field due to infinite uniform sheet current is independent of distance and it is tangential on both sides of the sheet. Okay. And we have seen numerical. So, without going into the derivational part, just what is important and what is relevant for our exam and what is the most important from this, if you go through this session very well, there is a chances of getting, scoring good number in your exam. Okay. So, this is all about the, the topics, what I have mentioned, I have covered them. Fine. So, hope you will all going to make ACE Online platform as a, a part of your success story. Please do subscribe to ACE Online app from your Play Store. Fine. Online test Thank you. Good luck. From ACE Online platform and used to regularly solve their subject wise test and full length test. Then for mains preparation, I solved question banks which were given to me as a part of mains postal program from ACE Online. And then last but not the least, for interview preparation, I followed the interview guidance material which was given to me as a part of ACE Online's interview guidance program. I am Vinit Kumar. I have secured All India Rank 1 in Mechanical Engineering in ESC 2021. I have been associated with ACE Engineering. I have taken various programs like Life's Main Classes, Postal Study Course, Test Series and Interview Guidance Program. So I would like to thank all the faculties of ACE. It has helped me in building my concepts and having my fundamentals cleared. I would also like to highlight that in test series, uh, I have given various mock tests which have helped me in the time of real exam and in interview guidance program, building confidence in the in front of interview panel. It has helped me in my success. Myself Abhishek Kumar Sharma, I have scored All India Rank 1 in UPSC Engineering Services Examination 2021 in Electrical Engineering Discipline. Now I divide my preparation strategy into three basic things. The first thing is that you have to complete your syllabus from a basic standard source. The second thing is that you have to attempt previous year question. The third thing uh, aspirant has to do is to solve as many test series as possible. I made two to three pages short notes of each and every subject. Now two to three pages short notes help in quick revision. If you keep working hard, you will definitely get success in this examination. This is what I followed and I wish all the best for all the future aspirants. Thank you. My name is Kuldeep. I, I have done my B.Tech from Ambedkar Institute of Technology, which is situated in Delhi. And I have secured All India Rank 1 uh, in ESC 2021 from ENT branch. I took AS Postal Course, Mains Test Series and Interview Guidance Program in ESC 2020 and ESC 2021. Hello everyone, my name is Kartike Kaushik and I have secured All India Rank 1 in UPSC Engineering Services Examination 2021 from Civil Engineering Discipline. For prelims preparation, I took online test series from ACE online platform and used to regularly solve their subject wise test and full length test. Then for mains preparation, I solved question banks which were given to me as a part of mains postal program from ACE Online. And then last but not the least, for interview preparation, I followed the interview guidance material which was given to me as a part of ACE Online's interview guidance program. I am Vinit Kumar. I have secured All India Rank 1 in Mechanical Engineering in ESC 2021. I have been associated with ACE Engineering. I have taken various programs like Life's main classes, Postal Study course,